Okay, today I demonstrate a relay in wired in uh, latching mode. I'm going to use this little push button switch to set the whole trigger the whole thing off and to prove that it is just a push button you actually have to hold the button place for to be any flow <laughs> okay Here's the switch. Not connected to anything. Not yet anyway. Wired up. Yeah. And this one. Today. You can see there are two six volt batteries wired in series there. We've got a power supply fan there. Of course the little micro I mean push button switch there that I ripped out of an old DVD player. Just wired and soldered the wires on the back there. We have the, and of course we have this fella here. Which is the relay. Wires up. push the button and it runs the only way to stop it from running is to disconnect its power okay here's a circuit diagram of the setup I just showed you um, uh, you have to excuse the crappiness of it. I'm uh, no artist, and I had to work with uh, uh, Windows uh, Paint. <laughs> the relay I used was uh, what you call a uh, double pole, double throw. Anyway, I think it's time for me to explain how it works, or how I think it works. Anyway. <laughs> may have just got the gist of it. As you see here, the push button is connected to the relay's coil. If we push the button in, it completes a circuit, powering the coil in the relay. The powering of the coil causes the armatures within the relay to move from this position to this position. This opens up even more circuit pathways. One heading to the device, which in my case was the uh, DC uh, PSU fan, and the other uh, to the coil of the relay, which essentially bypasses that push button switch. Now that the push button has been bypassed, coil of the relay will remain powered, regardless of what happens to the push button. Of course, cutting power to the relay's coil causes the armatures to fall back to their default position. And that's it. I hope I've provided some help to someone out there.
I know I'm not exactly the most eloquent person on YouTube. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments section. Just note that I'm not an expert. My knowledge is uh, well, extremely limited. So I don't know how much help I would be. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.